Welcome to Lee Dickey TV. Hit subscribe to follow along with the fun. Now let's get on to today's video. A classic Sylvester Stallone film is getting a limited series run. I give you the details on the Nighthawks limited series next. All right, so this Nighthawks limited series. Now Nighthawks is a film from 1981 that stars Sylvester Stallone and Rutger Hauer. Of course, Rutger Hauer passed away a couple years ago. Stallone still going strong. Stallone's role in Nighthawks was that of Deke De Silva, this hard-nosed, tough-as-nails cop, right, from New York City. And Rutger Hauer played uh, Wolfgar, this sort of international terrorist who's hell-bent on destroying the world and so there's your protagonist and antagonist if you will you had Rutger Hauer as your antagonist and Stallone of course as your protagonist so the film was released in 1981 was plagued with production problems of course because the original director Gary Nelson uh, was let go and then they brought in Bruce Malbuth I think that's how you say his last name who had one prior directing credit and just apparently the film itself was plagued with all sorts of issues but it was made on a budget of five million dollars it made just under 20 and it's not as well known as Stallone's other work like Rocky or Rambo or you know anything else like the Expendables of course but um, it's well loved by like just critics, Stallone himself apparently, and I myself being a huge Stallone fan, I love this film, although it's been a number of years since I've actually seen it, but it is a favorite among diehards when it comes to being fans of Stallone, and it's just awesome, to be honest with you. If you want to see something of Stallone's that's not Rocky or Rambo, Nighthawks is a good watch. Like, you know, most of his filmography, he's the protagonist, he's like this, obviously he's going to play this brooding, tough guy, but, like, it's perfect, you know, when it comes to Nighthawks, it's, it's something separate, but, separate from, say, like, Rocky, but, uh, it's just, it's right up his alley, right? Like, Stallone tends to write produce and star in the same films he's got a winning formula and to be honest if you watch the trailer for Nighthawks like the film or you see pictures from that time period to me Stallone kind of looks like Barry Gibb but with darker hair and yeah just a longer goatee or a more full sort of goatee and beard it's actually I get kind of weird seeing him sort of like not as clean shaven right and with much longer hair because like he came into prominence with Rocky and everything else but this limited series uh, that's based on Nighthawks Stallone will apparently direct and he will have some sort of on-screen role though he won't play Deke Da Silva that role will go to Frank Grillo who himself has had a long career I think just in this year alone He's got eight movies coming down the pipe, and, like, that's just cool. To me, I mean, you can err on the side of, do we really need a reboot or, you know, a limited series for Nighthawks? I would say no, but, of course, like, everything that's been made in the last 30 to 40 years, hey, you know, let's reboot it. Let's give it to a fresh audience. Let's have fresh eyes look at this product from say 30 to 40 years ago let's put a new spin on it now how you're going to stretch say a film that's you know nearly two hours into eight episodes i know it's a limited series there's no word on where it's going this article that i got from looper.com doesn't mention where the series is going to air though through further research i've heard places like peacock they picked up the rights for the u.s at least what that means internationally because I'm up in Canada I don't know or for anybody else that's not in the US I'm not sure but like apparently eight episodes limited run Frank Grillo is gonna take the Deke De Silva role 
No word on anybody else in the cast other than Stallone. He's going to have a role on screen and he's going to direct as well. I am curious as to who's going to take up the Rutger Hauer role because as I said previously, Rutger Hauer passed away about two and a half years ago. I think he was about 75. And, um, or even if the Wolfgar character from the Nighthawks film is going to be used, that's going to be something to behold. I mean, it's an eight episode limited series and Stallone, he's also going to produce. Of course, I mentioned that he's going to have an on-screen role, but he's also going to direct. He's going to do everything, right? And I'm, I'm not surprised, to be honest. Again, this article that I'm getting this information from mainly is from Looper.com, which I will link in the show notes and description for you all. Please do comment, like, share, and subscribe right here to Lee Dickey TV. You can find this as an episode of both the Beats and Speaks podcast and Yo Nostalgia. And you can subscribe to my other podcasts as well, Pinfall, a pro wrestling podcast, all of them on your favorite podcast apps and players of choice. Please do leave five-star ratings and reviews there as well. Thank you very much. I should also mention that apparently, you know, upon doing the research for this video, that apparently, you know, the film Nighthawks from 1981 was the American film debut of Rutger Hauer. And if that name sounds familiar, think Blade Runner right because he was in that and he's had a long tenured career right he had a long tenured career because as i said he passed away a couple years ago still cool a classic stallone film i haven't seen it in years i'll probably go back and watch it like soon but uh nighthawks a limited series based on the 1981 sylvester stallone film is getting a limited eight episode series run with frank grillo taking up the Dick De Silva role. Thanks again for tuning in. Again, my name is Lee Dickey, and this wraps up another video and another podcast. Please do subscribe right here to Lee Dickey TV, the YouTube channel, and we will see you next time. All right, my name is Lee Dickey, and I am signing off. Peace. Thanks for tuning in to Lee Dickey TV. New episodes are available every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Subscribe to follow along with the fun.